boxing is usually a young man's game, but one Australian is still punching on when most people start to think about planning for retirement. I doubt anyone would suggest that to father of seven, Dexter Dunworth. He's the oldest professional boxer in the world. Australia's own Dexter the Dingo Dunworth. He's had nine knockouts in a row. Ridiculously successful. And guess who is sizing up for victim number 10? Picked you, Rock. Throwing down the gauntlet to Sylvester Stallone. Just step in a ring and let's see how good you are. And it seems Stallone's management is poised to say yes. Yeah, I'll play it. You come from a land down under. You've probably never heard of Sydney's Dexter Dunworth, but in America, he's huge. My good friend Dexter Dunworth is back with us from Sydney, Australia. There's radio interviews, there's autograph sessions, they've got a clothing line of T-shirts, and, you know, it's just sort of... You're a star. Well, I wouldn't go that far. At 52, he's so old, he's actually banned from fighting in Australia, so he has to line up in the States. The funny thing is, he never knew he had it in him until he threw his first punch at age 48. The guy fought, he had a, um, a dislocated jaw, burst eardrum, uh, you know, pretty swollen face. And I thought, wow, you know, this is something I can really um, get into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit sick, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't that way. <laughs> Just be glad you're not married to me, right? <laughs> I break his nose, and yeah, you know, just bloods of them everywhere, and I thought, how good is this? Here we yeah. go again. Do you know a psychologist? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have kids older than nearly everybody I fight, and um, and they're professionals, and you know, I've won titles and things like that. It's just, you know, it's just, it's, it's wild. Now Dexter wants to fight Sylvester Stallone, and he sends him this message. Put the gauntlets down, are you going to pick it up or, you know, put it back in the jaw? I don't know, that's your choice, you know. <laughs> Is he talking to me? He's talking to you. Is he talking to me? Let him talk. Let him talk. Stallone's been saying for years he'd love to have a real bout, so Dexter's promoter has issued a formal invitation, and it's already on for young and old. I'm been achieving what I've wanted to achieve in the real world as opposed to on a movie set, so... That's a bit of a snipe almost, isn't it? I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's just <laughs> it's reality. Isn't that's, how it, that's how it is for me. Guy comes up offers me a fight. Big deal. Want to fight the fight? Yeah, I'll fight the big fight. <laughs> Based on the way he fought in those movies, could you be? Uh, his style was not very technically correct. Really? In my opinion. Even so, could Stallone still have the upper hand? The actor was famously fined after authorities found him with growth hormones on a trip to Australia two years ago. He denies the drugs were his and says he doesn't take them. Do you think he does? I don't know, but it sure appears that there's something a little unnatural there. Steroids? Yeah, possibly. Does that make it a fair fight? Well, it, like, it doesn't necessarily bother me. I'm OK with it. I love you! I love you! You live to fantasy. You've got an opportunity. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. What matters is you have the self-respect to have a go. Yeah, I think my money would be on the... <laughs>